One of the most expensive metals on earth seems to be chisel steel. You can easily spend 500 bucks or more on a good set of chisels. Some Japanese chisels are more than 100 bucks each. I have no idea how much that is per ounce, but I know woodworkers who have more invested in their chisels than they did in their wife's wedding ring. And that, my friend, is a recipe for disaster. So I'm going to save you a lot of money and maybe even your marriage by sharing a piece of valuable advice. 90% of woodworking is done with a single chisel. It's true. If you're an average weekend woodworker, you know what I'm talking about. There's one chisel on your rack that's your favorite. You reach for it for almost every chopping and paring task. For most people, that's a half inch chisel. Maybe it's a little different in your case. Maybe you like a three quarter inch chisel, but frankly, it comes down to there's probably just one that you use for almost everything. And if I had to recommend one size for one chisel, for a new woodworker, it'd be half inch. A half inch chisel is wide enough for paring a dowel flush with a workpiece or cleaning up tear out on the edge of a dado. You can square up the corner of a rabbit. The sort of things most beginning woodworkers use chisels for. Most weekend woodworkers never hand cut dovetails. And if they do cut the occasional mortise, it's done with a router or a drill press and a forstner bit. For them, chisels are used for cleaning up after a power tool or trimming tasks like a shallow hinge mortise. And a half inch chisel can do all of it. Think of what that means to someone who's just getting started in woodworking or to someone who's been at it a while but has gotten frustrated because they bought a whole big set of cheap hardware store chisels and they want to upgrade. You don't need to buy that $500 set of premium chisels. Instead, save up about 50 bucks and buy the best half inch chisel you can find, either a new one from a premium maker or a good used one on eBay. Then use the heck out of it. It'll be the best 50 bucks you ever spent. As your skills and projects progress, you may find the need for more sizes, especially if you get into a lot of hand tool work. Dovetailers may want a quarter inch chisel for narrow pins. One inch chisels or inch and a quarter are useful for large trimming and paring tasks. Maybe you want to hand chop your mortises or you need a skewed chisel for half blind dovetails. Maybe you want a few tough chisels for beating on and a few nicer ones for the fine work. Believe me, I'm not against owning hundreds of chisels, but don't let anyone tell you you must own a whole bunch of different sizes and a whole bunch of different types because most modern hobbyist woodworkers can do just about everything with just a half inch chisel. We'll be making some more chisel videos shortly, including how to shop and restore used ones and which specialty types you might want to look at down the road. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that little bell icon below. For even more great tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker, check out Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal over at stumpynubs.com. Oh, and tell the missus I said you're welcome.